Hello everyone, glad to have you back. This is Anita White with Love Your Art. Thank you so much for joining me and if you're a new subscriber, we say welcome to you. As you know, we've been working on the Dutch Pour Bloom and I am just still playing around and having a great time with it. I hope you will join me. And if you do, hey, go ahead and join me by showing me what you're doing on my Facebook group acrylic dutch pour and more i love to see your work i want to share with you what i had done already and i'm going to try to do today with just a slight modification this is a um dutch pour bloom that i used with some purples and i added some uh what do you call that pearl blue and you can see the hints of pearl blue through there Today, I'm going to be using some of these same colors, but I'm not going to put the pearl blue in with them. Uh, that's the Amsterdam pearl blue, but we will announce what colors we're using. We have the Blit Acrylic Titanium, our Mars Black, that we have for our base color. And we're going to, we've already put that down, so we're going to start with putting our layering colors in. Wanna wipe around the edges here. Make sure we have this nice and secured. We have a spinner here that we have this on. And we are going to pop our air bubbles as well as look for fire and debris that may interfere with our outcomes. And again, this is the blit acrylic. Mars black that we have for the base and should you need to refer to any of the colors that I use always go to the description box they're listed there <clears throat> so to begin with we have the Amsterdam permanent blue violet with Arteza's pearl royal purple Arteza's pearl lilac and the Amsterdam pearl violet those will be our colors for today on this Mars Black base. So let's do it. We start in the center here with a nice petal of the first color. This is the permanent blue violet. This is the Arteza Pearl Royal Purple. So pretty. And we also have the Arteza Pearl lilac let's get that open give it a nice squeeze it's a beautiful beautiful color and we have our pearl violet i'm going to put just a little bit there, come back with a little bit of pearl violet. All right, we got it, it's here. These are the colors we're using. And we're gonna to torch. Those air bubbles are stubborn. All right, so we're gonna to try to get um, five or six petals, whatever we can get on this 14 by 14 inch canvas. Okay, here we go, on low.
so pretty. Now because we have these um, pearl colors in here, we are going to have a few cells and there's just nothing wrong with that. Some people don't like any cells and I don't mind as long as they're not humongous when I'm doing this particular um, type of design. I will take my little tool here and go in just to separate just a minimal separation it's pretty I'm going to take just enough paint to open it up. It's really pretty to me. And, wow, very pretty. Very, very pretty, guys. Okay, we just make certain that this is stable on our spinner. I have it taped and uh, <clears> the <throat> 14 by 14 inch canvas fits very nicely on top of the spinner I use. Just a light torch and I want to make sure I can open this up a little more. And in this area here, the same. All right, we're going to spin this, see where it takes us. Just a gentle spin at first. As you can see, we have our petals starting to move toward the edge. And we want to make certain that they continue to move clear across the canvas on all sides. Go the opposite, opposite direction. <clears throat> Excuse me. Love, love, love this petal. It's really pretty. That's really pretty. This one is coming off a bit. This one has some beautiful color here. This one's got a lot of color there. So we're gonna move it a little more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's see if we can maybe shape this up a little bit here. Help it to kind of flow off. Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. All right. So, I really want to get this. There you go, just tapping that out a little bit. Okay, well, I'm gonna wipe this underneath because it is still moving. We wanna bring it to rest 
So we're going to slow down that movement. And because flowers aren't perfect, we don't have to have them look perfect, but I do try to get it as close as I can to having um, a neat look. This can stay just like it is if you don't want anything to happen in the middle. I tend to try to play with that metal with the balloon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to do that now just to see if we can pull this to make the nucleus of the flower look a little bit more collective with the petals. And all I'm doing is taking a balloon, <coughs> excuse me, I have allergy issues right now. I'm gonna take the balloon and just gently place it in the center here and gently lift it. Applying a little pressure. That's very pretty. And what it did it is it actually brings up the colors that are underneath there that we started off with, our layering colors, brings them up to a um, peak. I think I had it a little further up and I need to have it a little further back where my pressure is applied. So we'll try it again. Right. You can see how that looks on the bottom of the balloon. And as I said, you don't have to do anything with your center. You can leave it just like it was. You may like it more like that. And I spin it a couple of times maybe just to get that center to lay down and come together. So, so pretty. I don't know that I want to spin it anymore. Don't want to lose what we have. Okay, so what we'll do is bring you in for a close-up and you can tell me what you think. Um, and before I do, I just want to bring to your attention the dry results of the first one that I did. This is the first one I did and again, it dried beautifully. It has no varnish or resin up at this point, but I wanted to share it with you because I got lots of support and lots of comments on how this came out and I was real pleased myself. Thank you so much for those of you who commented and shared your feedback. It always helps us to grow when we hear from you. So that was the very first 14 by 14. Super pretty. All right, if you're ready, I am. Let's do it. All right, everyone, we have our close-up. There's a little glare because we have a light on, but you can see how beautiful these cells are and how this has come out. We're real pleased with it. Love, love, love some of the richness of the color and these gorgeous cells that we see here from the pearl. I think that's the Arteza. What do we call that? Pearl Roll Purple and the Arteza Pearl Lilac and the Amsterdam Pearl Violet. Bringing these together nicely. Okay. And let me just remind you what the first one looked like. 
here's the full shot of that one. It's really pretty. I'm sure it's going to dry beautifully because of the um, pearls that we have used in here. And again, here's the first one. And it had the blue pearl in it. So pretty. It didn't dry very well, as you can see. It has some cells out at the edge as well. All right, my friends, so much fun. Enjoy being with you each and every time. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be informed each and every time we have another video. And we will look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for joining me. Bye now.